Hey guys, uh, welcome to the first of hopefully many tutorials from me, Ben. I'm going to show you today a bit of JavaScript jQuery, which is uh, the big rage right now online, especially if you're a web designer. Um, jQuery is useful for making things look very pretty. Uh, for instance, if we go to Dead Island here on Game Don which I do a lot of jQuery with. You can see we have a list of pickup groups and gaming events and it's all here. Now if I click view gamers it slides down, slides down. If I click create pug, slide down. That's jQuery. The slide effect is all jQuery. Um, so that's what I'm going to be showing you today. I'm going to be showing you how to make this slide effect on your website. It's fast and easy. A lot of people think jQuery and PHP is daunting. There's a big and long learning curve, but if you if you step back and think of it as baby language, you'll find it a breeze. Now I'm going to show you this other site called JS Fiddler. It's brilliant if you want to, if you're learning jQuery and you want to test it before you put it in your live script use this site so you've got your HTML box, your CSS box your JavaScript box and your result so for example if I type hello world in HTML box and click run here is showing me the output of hello world so let's get started with jQuery now I just want to point out because we're on jfiddler we don't need to call the basic script into play but if you were doing it on your own script say in Dreamweaver you would need to put script and the language and then you'd need to close the script as well but as you can see it's only recognizing the closed script and not the open script because it already calls it into play in the JavaScript box I don't know if that makes sense but I, I just thought I'd throw that out there anyway. So we're going to start off with uh, with doing our HTML. Now we're going to use divs and an anchor. So first off we want our anchor. An anchor is a link so it's href equals this tells us where it's going to go. A lot of people, well a lot, a lot use uh, an ash sign which means it goes nowhere but I prefer JavaScript void open brackets zero close brackets I prefer that Ooh. and then we're gonna close our A and put click me this is what it'll say open and that's how we close our anchor forward slash A now if we run that we can see we've got a link that says click me now it goes nowhere when I click it and that's because of this JavaScript void. Um, if it was an ash, you will see that if I can just move this up here, this link here would end up with an ash on it. If it was on your site, anyway, it would be something like that, which we don't really want. Let's move this back. Oh, oh! Let's move this back down. I've messed it up now, Anna. Anyway, let's continue. I'm gonna put that JavaScript void back in, and uh, now we need to put a div. Now, a lot of web designers, when they start off, use tables to lay out the whole website. I suggest to avoid tables from day one don't avoid them completely I mean you can use them but to lay out your website avoid them use div tags now we're gonna just open and close a div tag like that and then your content will go in between it and uh, this is what we are sliding mofo faba I'm putting faba because I can that is all I'm, yeah it's my new word, faba. No, it's not. It doesn't even sound good. So we're gonna run that, and as you can see, we've got click me and div. 
div tags always start on a new line so if I even if I put a div tag right next to it like this hi close its shop even if it's right next to this div tag in my code when I run it it will be on a new line so we're gonna go into JavaScript now and the first thing I like to do with all JavaScript is call a variable I'm gonna call it J and because we're using jQuery we're gonna say we're using jQuery and we want no conflict so simply we're calling a variable which is VAR gain a dollar sign and a name this name can be anything but you need the dollar sign and equals jQuery no conflict so we don't want this JavaScript to conflict with any other JavaScript on our websites so this is very important if you plan on having a very heavy JavaScript run website so this first thing we're going to call get that out way and the second thing we're going to say is do we want it to load instantly do we want this script to run straight away which in this case I do so I'm going to say I'm going to put the no conflict document which points out this page I'm assuming ready so when this page is ready we're going to call our function which is our script and there we go anything in between anything that goes here is your script so make sure just right now type that in get it on your page so we can forget about it so to recap no conflict and on page load just to recap and this is closure closure just put closed so moving on first thing we want to do is make this href do something so by doing what we need to do is we need to give it a class you can give it a class or an ID but uh, I got told the other day I got recommended to use classes more than IDs when it comes to JavaScript I have no idea why as I'm still learning JavaScript but I'm just gonna go with what what the guy said so I'm gonna get a class toggle and we're gonna give the div another class of this so now that's done even if we run it there's no difference whatsoever even if we click that it's no difference we're gonna make a difference right now so we're gonna we're gonna call another function so we don't want it to conflict conflict function and open that function up and this is more complicated way it is an easier fast way but learning it this way by calling functions is probably the best way to go if you plan on getting more complicated scripting knowledge base blah blah so uh, we're calling the function now we're gonna call yet again no conflict but this time we're gonna call our class now to call a class we put dot and then the class name which would be toggle if it was an ID if you decided to go with ID it's an ash sign but I'm calling the class and now I'm gonna say on that class when it's clicked so class click I'm gonna call function for when it's clicked so there we go and now when it's clicked we want yet again no conflict and we're gonna call our second class which is this to toggle and then uh, slide sorry toggle and that is it so we we just need to close that up and then one more there we go so these here 
I just close in that function and that function that's very important for this script to run so what let me just recap on this we're gonna we're gonna open a new function new funk and then on click we're gonna open a new function and then tell that function what to do and then yet again close and closed so that's pretty straightforward telling you right there we probably don't even need this function but I just like to play it safe so on click we want this to slide toggle and we say slide toggle because then we don't have to say slide down or slide up separately we just toggle it you can do it separately but for this uh, demonstration we do not need to now in between the brackets of the slide toggle you can choose a speed now if you if you leave it blank it's normal speed but you can have it fast or slow but we're going to go ahead and run this so as we can see when I click it's gone it's toggled up disappear click again there we go now we could style this obviously because we've got a class we can go into CSS and call that class which is this and we can see we can get a style so we can get a background of uh, group blue we we'll won't do it blue uh, color for text white and we get a padding of 20 pixels and uh, we'll just go with that let's run this there we go now we can click and as you see it it slides easy as that it's very short script but it's very effective now uh, I will show you the speed so if we put slide slow as you can see it's very slow if we put it fast it's a lot faster and smoother which I prefer that to be honest um, let's make this box look a little neater with CSS uh, border radius 5px looks a little nicer so uh, yeah that slide you can have fade toggle which will fade the box out and in uh, you can just have toggle remove the capital T and that'll just which is quite nice and um, I'm gonna go with slide toggle again and that is that well that's it for the first tutorial there we go a toggling little whatever you can have whatever in here uh, you could have content from Facebook embedded within the div class as long as you call in the right class so if you click this it will do that and I'm sure you can uh, pause the video and copy this code word for word if you like it's fair enough until next time enjoy <laughs>